Hey, good morning, Rick. A uh, quick demo video for you for your Corbanth DV3. Uh, this looks to be the 89 version, I think, but I'm not sure on that. But I know for sure you got it from Corbanth. Um, but anyway, all done this morning. Um, installed with a Profi. You've got a two button setup. So your front under the clamp here is your power. Your back will be your auxiliary. Um, you've got CC sabers in here for your lit NeoPixel connector. And then um, how you get to the chassis, you just want to unscrew the handle. So pretty simple setup on this one. Handle unscrews, comes right off. And then you've got a 28mm uh, Smuggles Outpost Elite speaker. You've got your Profi board. This is just a extremely tight press fit down into the shelf. All right, so if you have to get to your SD card, you can because I had to put it under the shelf just a hair. All right, but easy access to your, your micro USB. Um, I did load this with the complete sound font package and config that you sent me, so everything is good to go there. You've got a removable battery setup. Uh, your chassis retention is something that you'll never see, but uh, you have to take this entire switch section off and slide it up or down, and then there is a single grub screw underneath this black area for chassis retention. So that's in there pretty tight. Uh, you shouldn't ever have any issues with that. All right. Um, all of these Greeblies did get glued on, though. So like this guy... This guy, this guy, the middle piece, this piece over here, all of these were glued on. I did use CA glue, so it's nice and tight for you, but I just want you to be aware of that. That's how that this kit comes. It has to be assembled in that manner. All right, so we'll throw a battery in this guy. So everything clips on nice for you. We'll turn this light off over here and hit activation so you do have shine through here like uh you know like we were talking about in here nice smooth swing auxiliary and then you have twist off normally on this guy your blade retention screw would be uh this grub screw right here I'm not going to use it uh, for the sake of this demo because the blade fits in there pretty tight. It takes a 7 8 inch blade. We'll put that in there. Put that all the way down in there. And then uh, you can just hit activation. Mode. Pins doing what they should. Nice blade lock up. Nice and loud. Nice little pre on there for that font. We'll do this one and one more, but you do have quite a few fonts on here. I can feel the force flowing through him. Good flash on cloud. Just like that. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll take the blade back out. Um, like I said, pretty tight fit. So if you have a new blade, you probably want to do some sanding. This is 
a fairly new blade and it's been sanded a little bit but not too much so i'm able to use this and i would uh, be comfortable using that without the blade retention all right um we'll just go ahead and take the handle off and then from the positive side of the battery over here by the speaker you should be able to pop it out with your finger just like this all right uh, so that is pretty much your db3 uh, let me know if you got any questions and if not i will get this out in the mail to you by tomorrow Thanks.